All right, guys, we got another quick video on how to install um, safe strap on the Droid 3. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to download safe strap once you um, install it on your phone. Right here, you'll see the icon. We're going to hit that. All right, now we're going to hit install recovery. It'll install the recovery. And there we go. All right, so now this is Safe Strap uh, version 2.0. Um, this has tweaks in it that are going to allow us to install a ROM that has Kexic running. So uh, we'll show you that here too. All right, so now we have Safe Strap Recovery installed. We're going to power off. Power off. All right, and then uh, we're going to reboot. And when it reboots, you're going to see a new menu. Um, after the Droid uh, or the Motorola logo, before the boot animation, you're going to see a new logo. And then in there, we can hit menu and uh, we'll be able to load up here. I'll show you. Right here. Hit menu and it's going to load Clockwork Mod Recovery, basically. It's, it's a little tweaked, but that's basically what it is. Come on. All right, safe trap recovery version 2.0. All right, so at this point, since this is the first time you installed it, you want to go ahead and make a backup. Um, do a backup, and I think the uh, search button selects. Yes, it does. And then we're going to back up. And we're going to back up to our external. All right, so this is going to run a backup. When it's done, I'll come back and we'll show you some more steps. All right, guys, a little information on this while we're waiting. Um, first of all, this is on uh, the newest OTA, um, which is over-the-air update uh, from Verizon. Um, so make sure you're on that when you install Safe, Trap, Safe Strap Recovery Version 2. Um, also, if you do anything in Safe Strap or any kind of flashing around, always make sure you have at least about 80% battery. Um, that's uh, just a general recommendation so that while you're in this mode your phone don't die on you or something in the middle of flashing something it might mess it up or soft brick it so we don't want to do that um, so just make sure you guys got those things all set up in line when you're using this um, so right now I'm this backup I'm making is a backup of my non safe system which is the basically stock rooted Android uh, system. So if I ever have anything and I want to switch to my non-safe system, which is what I'm on right now, I can restore this back up and I'll be back in business where I was. Um, once this is finished, then what we can do is we can go in here and um, if I have a, a ROM installed on my phone, my, my SD card, I can go in there and I can switch to um, safe mode, which I'll show you. And then from there, um, I can go ahead and I can flash that ROM and uh, then if anything happens on that system and I mess it up I can always just switch back to non-safe and I'm back to my old stock system and it doesn't ever get affected so because um, safe strap boots before the phone boots basically you can get into it every every time when the phone boots up so let's just let this wrap up it's uh, generating my MD5 sum as soon as it's done with that uh, we'll be good to go. This process has taken me 10 to 15 minutes to make this backup. Just so you guys know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while. Alright guys, our backup of our non-safe system has been completed. Now I'm going to try to show you this. It's the very top. Let's see if I can get a good angle on it. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but it says uh, Safe Strap Recovery Version 2 and then it says safe system is disabled so that is what we want to change and enable that and once we've done that then it'll protect our uh, system um, so if we ever have any problems we can always re disable it again and we'll be back to stock um, so a little confusing there so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here with your volume buttons is how you scroll and we're going to go to um, safe boot menu and then select with the search button down at the bottom alright now here it goes this is what we gotta do right here alright guys 
again here we at we are at this uh, toggle system so we're gonna go ahead and uh, toggle safe system all right so let's hit that with the search button and then it says um, this cannot be undone do you want to confirm so yes enable safe system so we're gonna select it and then hit the search button all right um, this is gonna take a little bit of time and when it's done we'll go to the next step so let's let this run for a little bit it uh, backs up your data and your original your original system here a little bit um, and then we'll go to the next step so once this is done you'll be enabled on safe system all right guys it says um, swap to safe system complete safe system is now enabled so this is finished so then we're gonna come up back up here and we're gonna scroll down to go back and we'll go back all right so now we're gonna go ahead and now that we're on safe system which you can see at the top up here it says safe system is enabled so we're gonna go to um, install zip from SD card if I can get to it there we go and then we're gonna hit select choose zip from SD card select external is where I've placed my Kexic zip we'll accept that and then I named it Kexic is my folder it's in so there's Kexic right on top we're going to select that and then this is Kexic CM9 this is the release release on July 18th it's unofficial um, there's lots of issues with this right now hash code and another guy are working on it so this is going to is real pre pre alpha but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway so we're going to go ahead and install it and then you want to hit yes to install All right, now that we've installed the zip, the uh, ROM, we're gonna install the gaps on this sucker. So we're going to, see if I can get this for you. Um, choose zip from SD card. Let's select down here. We're gonna pick external. Hang on a sec, guys. External, there it is. All right, and then uh, Kexic again. And then we're gonna do the G gaps or the Google apps and hit install. Whoops, hit the wrong thing, not that. Choose zip external. Kixic. Okay, Google apps. Then hit yes. Alright, and we'll come back to it when that's done installing. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, wipe data factory reset and select that. Scroll down, it says delete all user data. Hit yes. Man, it's like I'm overshooting with this thing a lot. So select that. It's going to go really quick and delete the user data. So formatting data. And then it's going to format uh, cache. So this shouldn't take too long here. Um, sorry about my kid in the background. Also, this is my wife's phone, if you haven't noticed the purple around the edge there. So, and the wallpaper. All right, formatting cache. Okay. So now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go down to wipe cache partition. Select that. Then you wanna do yes. Oh man, this thing's overshooting. Okay, so yes to that. It's gonna wipe uh, the cache again formatting it and the last thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go to advanced alright guys last step is to uh, go to advanced select it and then we're gonna go to wipe uh, Delvic cache select that then hit yes
select it. And as soon as this is done, we can go ahead and reboot the phone. So go back. And reboot system now. We'll watch this thing boot up and we'll go from there. All right guys, here is this uh, Kexic CM9 uh, booting up. And uh, let's see what we got here. What Kexic does is it replaces the um, kernel <clears throat> with a ice cream sandwich kernel. So you were on a, uh, you know, a 2.6 I think or something like that kernel. Now you're gonna be on a 3.0.8 kernel which is ice cream sandwich. So in essence, um, it's a custom kernel is what you're installing. So you're basically kind of like bypassing the bootloader um, and installing your own kernel, which is because these droids, pretty much all the droid phones have locked bootloaders. Um, this is a way to get your uh, own kernel into the into the ROM and run, run that kernel basically on top of or over the uh, bootloader kernel. So once Hashcode gets these things worked out, this is going to be way, way better. Um, so let me just read you some of the things that are going on with this specific build, which is um, from July 18, 2012, um, from Hashcode's blog here. Um, says, new updated graphic drivers create a fluid and fast IU for ice cream sandwich. Um, right now, the main audio is not working, but Bluetooth speaker phone are. Um, radio is up and running. Calls work. 3G has been reported to work. Um, Touch screen and other sensors are fully working. Internal SD card is not mounting at this point. Um, being worked on. Wi-Fi works very well, very solid signal. Um, and then your hard keyboard needs work right now. It's not uh, in the device tree, so it's not mapped correctly. Um, the keys are not mapped correctly, so it's not quite working yet. Um, so those are your basic uh, bugs right now that Hashcode is working on working through. Uh, once he gets through them uh, and gets these things really tweaked out, probably a couple months, he'll be really really good so it's just kind of a pre look at it you can see this is the uh, interface very smooth very fluid um, let me show you this though we're gonna go down here to about foam right here um, right here yep um, let's see where it's at here right here kernel kernel is a 3.0.8 from hash code so that is absolutely awesome we can see we're on Android 4.0.4 and that this is mm, Chronogen Mod 9 or CM9. So those things are working. Here's your uh, interface. Um, you know, you got your status bar up here, your persistent search bar on top, um, all your basic ice cream sandwich look, uh, app drawer. You can see how smooth and fluid this is. It's real, real nice when it comes to uh, the transitions and everything. It's just awesome. So when Hashcode uh, gets this completely worked out, this thing's going to be the bomb for this phone, um, for the Droid 3. going to love it. But uh, that's pretty much what this does. Like I say, it's a bypass. So um, just so you guys can get a look at what Hashcode has been up to, definitely uh, some cool stuff with uh, ice cream sandwich. I'm sure if he gets this working very smoothly, he will probably make a jelly bean port for this too. Um, so uh, here you go, guys. That's it. That's uh, Droid 3 with uh, Kexic and CM9. Thanks, guys.